The Canadian government says that the Trans-Pacific Partnership deal will create jobs for Canadians through expanded trade. But actually, this 6,000-page document that was negotiated in secret is going to cost Canadians a minimum of 58,000 jobs. That will, these jobs will be lost in the, the auto sector. 20,000 jobs will be lost right away. And another 40,000 jobs will be lost in manufacturing across the country. So instead of gaining jobs, actually we're going to lose jobs. And of course in the auto sector, this means that for every job directly in auto assembly or the auto parts industry, there will be five more spin-off jobs that will be lost. This is a very bad deal for Canada. And it's not really about trade. In fact, of the 6,000 uh, 6, pages, only three chapters are about trade. The 12 countries that are involved in the Trans-Pacific Partnership deal, we already have 97% per, uh, duty-free trade with already. And the net benefit to Canada will be in trade will be 0.28%. So it's not about trade. And it's about jobs, all right, but it's about losing a lot of jobs in Canada and uh, forgetting about developing an industrial strategy involving uh, value-added manufacturing jobs. This is what Canadians want, to expand manufacturing for good jobs for Canadians, higher wages and uh, better living conditions, not the alternative, which is uh, what the Trans-Pacific Partnership is all about. It's about flattening wages, it's about destroying good jobs, it's about losing Canadian sovereignty and independence. This is a bad deal for Canada. We should tell the government, don't ratify the deal. It's a bad deal for Canada.